Hey guys, a meteorologist Chris Tomer. Let's talk some mountain weather, and this is a really exciting time. I love these times where we've got like one to two storms lined up, and they're big. So this first one is what we're watching. It's it's will basically determine the the future, the fate of the West, because we've got uh, this is a weak to moderate atmospheric river slamming into the uh, the Sierra, the high Sierra above 5,000 feet. This is the view at Sierra at Tahoe, and then I was looking at it uh, heavenly all the way down to Mammoth. This is really the time frame for maximum accumulation this afternoon tonight into Tuesday before the low breaks loose and then spreads that heavy snow into the interior of uh, the interior west interior rocky so that's the view at uh, sierra tahoe here's the big picture on the uh, the satellite over the pacific and mark the storm track in yellow and it's just basically coming in perpendicular like a fire hose and just uh, nailing the sierra uh, you get that up that upslope orographic flow with all that moisture and and we're squeezing it out in the form of feet of snow over the next 36 hours all sort of rotating around this big area of low pressure that came out of the Gulf of Alaska. Um, very impressive. So let's look at the future position of this precip. This is the uh, the GFS American model and look at all the, the heavy snow right now. Let me push this into the future. So this is Tuesday morning. Um, you've got snow heavy in the Sierra down to Mammoth. Heavy snow in the parts of Idaho. This is going to be a good stretch for Sun Valley. A little bit of snow up there in the Pacific Northwest, but here it comes, low breaks loose, moves into Utah. This is Tuesday afternoon, Tuesday night, Wednesday morning. You've got heavy snow moving through the Wasatch. This should be a one to two footer, um, including Brian Head on this. And then that night into Wednesday morning, it's in Colorado. And I think the Southern Mountains get about a foot out of this. The San Juans, Wolf Creek over to Silverton. And then probably six to 12 through Crested Butte. Probably on the lower end of that, but six, seven, eight inches in Crested Butte up to Aspen Snowmass, and probably four to eight Vail right in the Summit County and up to the tunnel. So this is not as big of a storm, not even close to the one that moved through last week that nailed the mountains of Colorado. So that's, here we go, let's move into Thursday morning. It's gone. We'll focus on, look at the next little storm coming down the pipeline there. I'm just kind of backing it up. That's a much faster, smaller low hitting the Pacific Northwest and hitting the Sierra again. So let's, this is Thursday morning. You can see that. It spreads like a one to three inch swath through Utah, Wyoming, and Colorado. It's minor. It's out of there. By Friday, it's drier. And then look at the Pacific Northwest. This becomes an important storm. So this is Saturday morning. Um, look at the heavy, the heavy blue, the deep blues up there in Washington State, up into uh, BC. That becomes an important storm because then it affects Idaho, Schweitzer, western Montana. And then eventually affects the Tetons. This is Sunday morning right here, and then kind of moves through. So we've got storms lined up. I mean, this is this is great. Let's look at my total. So we'll do this in two phases. This is uh, basically today through the 18th, and you can see the numbers 40 to 75 inches, right, with this atmospheric river set up in California in the High Sierra. Uh, and we may add to this with that second low coming in. I'll show you those numbers coming up, but this just runs through the 18th. In Colorado, yeah, 4 to 8, I-70 north, 6 to 12, south of I-70, down through the San Juans. 1 to 2 feet in uh, Utah. This should be excellent skiing on um, Wednesday. And then look at uh, Jackson Hole. I've got my snow plume forecast for Jackson coming up. I've got one for Crested Butte as well coming up. Uh, great skiing there, Jackson. Over to Grand Targhee, up to Big Sky. Look at the numbers. Those uh, those two to three foot numbers up there in the Pacific Northwest are coming mainly this with that weekend storm. Um, and that's the case with Revel, Stoke, and Fernie and those big numbers right there as well. So that's phase one. This is phase two, the 19th to the 22nd. See, we've added a little bit more through Heavenly and Tahoe down to Mammoth. That big number in Shasta, that's because you're already starting to get some blow off from that weekend uh, weekend storm. But um, you can see uh, even in the 19th to the 22nd, we've, we've added some accumulation in Colorado uh, with potentially one to two storms, as I'll show you in the Crested Butte Plume coming up. Um, and, and everybody else is still getting fresh snow from the 19th to the 22nd so good pattern all right let's do uh this is crested butte first so you've got this this first storm coming in six seven eight inches second storm 17th uh it lays down another couple of inches and then the 21st 22nd we, we could add some additional snow so uh this again this is not as big not even close as the storm that moved through last week in crested butte but at least we're getting some fresh snow um and it's not just one and done all right, so this is Jackson Hole in excellent position. There's snow almost every single day in the forecast here. I've got um, snow all the way through the 18, 19, 20, 21, and even into the 22nd. By the 21st, we're at like two feet of total accumulation. So 
This is great. I mean, there's like two or three different waves that will continue to bring the snow into Jackson Hole, Grand Targhee, the Tetons in general. Big Sky should be in good position. Um, so those are my snow plumes. I also um, want to talk about wind a little bit, and I'm going to start to do this a little bit more going forward. My high peaks gust uh, included a lot of the high peaks across the west from Longs, Rainier, Whitney, Kings, Gannett, and Elbert. And notice the big, in, the big flux, the big increase in wind with this as this California storm comes out and hits the interior, all the winds start going up. I mean, we're looking at 60, 70, 80 mile an hour winds between the 14th and the 15th as that California storm ejects into the inner mountain. And then there's a kind of a quieter period, and then that second kicker low comes through with some higher winds. And then look at the look at Rainier as that weekend storm comes in. Um, you could have winds of 70 with heavy snow into this weekend. So there you go. We'll, I'll continue to uh, bring you these updates. Always appreciate everybody watching these. Take care. Have a great day.